Basil Marceau. Perhaps you know the name. He's the candidate for governor in Tennessee whose one-minute speech on a local television news program went viral on YouTube. Almost 1.4 million hits. He wound up on a national television program and other videos were made and posted to YouTube about his campaign and his views. And hundreds and hundreds of thousands of Americans, we all had a laugh at Basil Marceau's expense. And it's understandable because we've gotten so used to professionally honed, professionally written, well-rehearsed speeches by politicians who've been groomed for TV commercials. And Basil Marceau is certainly not that. But perhaps an apology is in order because I read something the other day he said that told me that he knows something that I believe millions of Americans have forgotten. Millions of people sitting in pews every Sunday have forgotten. You see, Basil Marceau recently announced that having lost the primary, he's now going to run a write-in campaign for governor. And I guess we could all have a chuckle at Basil Marceau again, but maybe not this time. You see, actually, over the 12 years I was in the state senate, I was his state senator. I talked to Basil Marceau a lot. I learned that Basil Marceau is a veteran, a former Marine. He served on foreign soil, and it just may be that his service affected him in such a way that it's made him the man that he is today. I don't know. His views can certainly be seen as different, and some might even think his views are foolish, but I don't think he's a fool. Because the other day, when asked by a reporter how he thought his writing campaign would go, Mr. Marceau said, who knows? But doing something for good is always better than doing nothing. Doing nothing is like doing something for bad. And when I read those words, I realized he was right. That in his own way, he said what the great 19th century English statesman Edmund Burke said. All it takes for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. For those who sit in the pews and call themselves Christians, we might be reminded of the words in James chapter 4, verse 17 that says, For him who knows the good he ought to do, and doeth it not, for him it is sin. And I realize that Mr. Marceau, by his dogged determination to seek an office whereby he might implement what he believes is good for his community, his state, and his nation, is doing what all of us really need to do, and that is to take action on behalf of that which we believe to be good. And then I realized that what he is doing and in taking action is at the heart of the name and the mission of the Family Action Council of Tennessee. And that is to inspire and encourage Tennesseans who care about the state of the family and the culture in which we raise our children to turn from mere words and wringing of hands to take action. If you're interested in doing that, we would encourage you to visit our website at www.tennessee.org factn.org and turn words into deeds. So, Mr. Marceau, this time I want to give you kudos for again doing everything you know to do to take action on behalf of what you believe to be good. Because to do nothing is to do something for bad.